Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we competed in the arena and we died. Again? And again? And again? And then we died some more. Holy shit, it was ridiculous. But we eventually overcame them and we gotta carry on and hopefully become the grand champion finally. Where's my razor? There you are. What's a gladiator with... The next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's deadly with a blade. He has more experience than you, so be prepared. <laughs> He said that really weird. Looks like a bit of a dandy. Okay then, so, uh, we got a fellow with a sword, apparently. I, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't paying much attention to what he said, because he really distracted me with that. Like, that really caught me off guard. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. You've prayed for it, and these combatants have bled for it. A high-stakes advancement match. Let's see who has what it takes to be your new hero! I am very tempted to start singing I Need a Hero right now, but I will resist the urge. For your benefit, not for mine, because I'd love to sing it, but my singing is terrible. Right, let's kick this Breton's ass. Hey, please one-shot him. I just want to beat the arena now. <laughs> I've given up the will to live here, because, frankly, we're not living. Sir, you're kicking the crap out of me, sir. Not as bad as some people have been, so, uh, you know, we, we definitely... There we go! So cool, this. a winner! All hail the combatant from the blue team! Victor from the blue team, leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. Eh, for once, I kind of didn't really earn it. I just cheesed him with a dagger, but hey! It's in the game, it's not cheating, it's not, it's just cheap, that's all it is. It's perfectly legal. But say, uh, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll take it. Anyway, give me a match. By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. Now that's more like it. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. Well, I don't want to stroke my ego, but yes, yes I am. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. He fights with an Akaviri longsword. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down! Oh, you mean the same guys that are supposed to protect the Emperor and they didn't and that's why he's dead? The same guys who I've saved on several occasions, including one in a sewer from the Mythic Dawn. Yeah, I know them. They suck. Oh, I know what's happened to be one, sir. There you go. Good people of the Imperial City! Welcome to the arena! Behold, as two heroes meet in the fighting pit for an epic battle worthy of song, combatants, begin! I can be your hero, baby. I can kiss away the... Well, to be fair, I'm more likely to bring the pain. Uh, and yes, we're still going with the goddamn razor and I don't give a shit no more. These people are ridiculous. Then again, this guy actually kind of seems weak oh, as shit, which kind of stands the reason, because oh. as I mentioned, the blade's kind of a bit pathetic on the relic. Wait, sir, uh, sir, uh, stand uh, still and uh, freaking uh, die. Uh, well, then again, he is kind of killing me, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, for, for this point in the game, or at this point in the arena, a hero, the first hero we're fighting, this guy's a little bit alive. pathetic. If you could, you're not dying. Ha. God damn it, Razor, what do I pay you for? Well, well okay, I don't pay you your weapon, but uh, if I did, I won't be getting my money's worth. Right, well, we need to use our freaking potions so we can heal the hell back up, and we're gonna switch back to our katana, which seems kind of fitting as it was since we did get it from the Blades HQ, and now we're gonna use the murderer blade. And you would, sir, deserve it. No, no, no. Right now, do I? Yeah, you know what? I think we can take this guy. I might need to heal again, though, but, uh, the dagger softened him up. There we go, and we disarmed him. Oh, now your ass is mine, you wannabe son of a bitch. What are you doing? Holy shit. Yeah, I, I swear he's doing more damage with his fist. I'm gonna die. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> well, I'm not dead, but, uh... Yeah, he's he's definitely gonna kill me before I get up. Well, shit. Go quickly. Damn it. Okay, well, that's what I get for saying the blade suck. But you still do suck. Yeah. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about the dagger. I mean, it's cool and everything, but, uh... It is cheap as hell, but... There you go. It is fun. From the blue team, leave the arena now and rest. You've earned it. 
To be fair though, I really don't see how you're supposed to beat the arena unless you are like pretty much level 30 or something and you're really overpowered and you have, you know, really great equipment because there's some insane fights in there. Defeating an arena hero is one thing, but defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the Divines or something, my friend. Bro, we went over this. They suck. You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the yellow team. Now go give them what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm all fired up. Okay, hero. This next opponent is a high elf wizard. A master in the school of destruction. <laughs> but wait, it gets worse. He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages, which gives him some serious magic resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight in. Will do. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. Yo, oh, it's like you care about me. I'm still gonna come back and murder you. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, I do recall when you beat the arena, I think you can keep competing in it, but, uh, you fight random monsters instead of, you know, actual people, so... Maybe we'll kill him, but we probably won't ever do that, so maybe we will. Imperial City, welcome to the arena! Put your hands and your voices together for the two brave heroes who have your voices to together? rock the very foundations of this arena! Lower the gates! Lower the gates? I don't know, but don't get me wrong, I realize that maybe he meant like, the crowd, oh god, the crowd can collectively put their voices together, like, you know, each person combined, but really when you say put your hands together, you mean, oh holy shit, we are about to die. This guy, uh, he ain't no joke. Okay, can I one-shot him? <laughs> ah, shit. Looks like he's actually resisting the uh, one-hit effect of the dagger. Well, <laughs> you're gonna be a bit of a pain in the dick, but yeah, what I was gonna say was, when you say put your hands together, you're talking about one person, yeah, we're dead. Kinda saw that coming. You're talking about one person putting his own hands together, you know, clapping. But, you can put your voices together? What the hell is that about? Damn you. Yeah. This, uh, this ain't gonna go well. We're gonna have to use this. Damn. Oh, okay. Wow! Well, fair enough then, you sucked. All hail the combatant from the blue Fifteen grand, holy shit! That's an expensive shield. Oh, I really wish we could take that. Can, can we, like, just carry it down there and somehow cheese it out of the arena? I've got a strange feeling there is some way to do that, but maybe that's just, like, cheating with the console or something. I don't really remember, but, uh, I would really like that shield, because... It's a pretty good show, and if nothing else, we could always just sell it. What are you doing in the doorway again? Move your ass. Wait a minute. What's this doing down here? You people, you're so damn messy. I'll be honest, Hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's your gold. Yeah, it was kind of squishy. Still kill me, though. You're at the end of a long road, Hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being named champion. Oh, finally. Go up to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the yellow team to its knees. To the knees! Yeah! Alright, this is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. Oh, come on! You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants, plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. Shit. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now good luck. Oh yeah, I actually remember that you get a pig with you. That's awesome, but uh, I don't think he does very much. Maybe I'm remembering correctly. Maybe he's going to beat them all up on his own. I really don't remember, but I think he doesn't do much. But again, I may just be completely wrong about that, so... We're going in with a razor blazing, you never know, this might turn out to be easy if pork chop's good and we get lucky, or it may suck. Good people of the You're Imperial a City, welcome to the arena. I give you the hey, stop pushing me. Team's Hero! Can this brave combatant defeat three opponents and become the next champion? Let's find out! Shh. I'm hiding. <laughs> We're gonna let Pork Chop take the brunt of the attacks. Are they attacking him? No, they're running straight past him. God damn it! Why does nobody attack my tag team partners? Okay, let's go guns blazing with the uh the Mayron's razor of justice. 
Now let's go for the archer because he's probably, well in fact no, the sorcerer's probably going to be the squidgiest, I'm about to die. And pork chop ain't doing jack shits. Can you at least be cannon fodder? Distract them for God's sake, distract them. Archer, da damn, got book me square in the face. Well alright then, well at least I saved it. Now, yeah, yeah square, it's, no, 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 okay, well we'll go for you I guess. If we can take out the melee person, the uh, sorcerer, and the archer, probably won't be that bad. Are you the archer? Where the hell? What's, what's going on? I, I just spin around me. This is very confusing. Like, holy damn. <laughs> okay, right. Where the hell is the sorcerer? I don't know. Uh, no, you're the archer. Where? Whatever. Let's go for you. Done. No, 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 no. Okay, the archer's almost dead. I don't know if he's gonna heal properly. Maybe we can gank him quick enough? Yes, we can. Okay, one down, two to go. Pork chop, you take one person and I'll be fine. Maybe. What? Why is the sorcerer just running at me? Where'd he go? What the hell? Okay, I'm really trying not to. There we go. Okay, two down, one to go. Really trying not to hit pork chop here because, uh, pretty sure he might aggro on me. Maybe not, but either way, we might kill him and that would really suck because we need him right now. I I'm dying. No, 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 no. Okay, keep chugging those damn potions. Keep, no. Okay, we're gonna have to time our healing. Not like that, though. Shit. Well, we have a little bit more HP. Let's see if we can get it. No, no, no. Okay, how much damage are we doing? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Again, if we can disarm her, <laughs> really kind of our best chance. We could go ham with a razor, but it's either out of charge or very close. I did not mean to drink that. <laughs> go ham with a razor. We've got a pig with us. Here we go, we disarmed her. Okay, we are still very low on HP, gotta pay attention to that, but uh, I'd really like to kill you without having me having to heal again, but that's not gonna happen. I really kinda want this, uh, this what it, yeah, that, that thing, the night eye to wear off, and it did. That's handy. This is why I don't use night eye, I just prefer the torch, cause I, it just looked kinda ugly to me, and even though it does help in the darkness when you're not in the darkness, which is kinda 50-50 most of the time, it just makes the uh, the light areas look really shitty. You, you are tough as balls. The other two really suck, but like, damn, I know you got like a Daedric helmet, Daedric helmet, but uh, like Jesus Christ, hold up, you suck. Help me. You're not helping me. Oh my God. Well, she's kind of, sort of, almost nearly dead. We we can do this. Got to keep an eye on my HP, but we definitely got her eventually. Stop knocking me off, of Chris. <laughs> Finally. Hail me, goddammit! Return to the Bloodworks now and see the Blade Master. Oops. Well done. Did I piss off the pig? I'm so. Ooh. I've angry. <laughs> I've angry the pig. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? Let's kill him. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, there we go. I feel like kind of a dick. Can we loot him? No, we can't. He attacked me, goddammit. I okay. I hit him first, but. It was an accident, I swear. Okay, it was an accident. I was seeing if we could aggro him, and we did. But, uh, yeah, Porkchop's dead. Whatever. I, I don't think he really does anything after this, so... It shouldn't matter, maybe? You did it. You beat him every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all you're the best. I'm simply the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but they're still the grand champion. Kid, you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the Great Prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. You get gets, kid. You get gets. Okay, let's go speak to Isabel. I do believe it's the chick on the chair over there, but first of all, our razor is kind of busted. We do still have some charge left. I don't think we're gonna need it. Well, maybe we will, and we need to repair our shit, because that was busted as hell. Right, hello. Who the hell are you? And who in Shinji's name might you be? Look, if you're a spectator, go upstairs and talk to the gatekeeper. This ain't no damn peep show. I'm the main character. And... And the champion. Wait. I know you. You're that new champion, right? Exactly. Hmm, I guess I know why you're here. But let me tell you, you're making a big mistake. The Grey Prince is the best fighter the arena has ever seen. He can't be beaten, not by you. But hey, it's your right. 
If you want to challenge Agranac, go right ahead. He lives down here in the Bloodworks. Do that. Come talk to me again and I'll arrange your match. All right then, I will. Right, let's go speak to the Great Prince. It's you, isn't it? Yes, I remember things. Hey, buddy, how's it going? The journal. The journal. My father's journal. It says I'm... I'm, I'm part vampire. My whole life has been nothing but a lie. I'm no Great Prince. I'm a vile, wretched spawn of evil. Yeah. Please leave me. I can't... I... Oh, but I see. You're a champion. You want my grand champion title, is that it? Well, please challenge me. In the arena, I can end my misery. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. Pistols at dawn. Yes, yes, yes. I accept your challenge. Go. Go speak with Isabel. Tell her you're ready. Then we'll... Well, we'll meet in the arena. Yes, that will do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, so why do we have to... S Apparently we do have to speak to Isabel again. Okay, whatever. Is Porkchop in here? Yeah. <laughs> That's where he normally is, but uh, yeah. He's definitely dead, all right. Okay, I'm ready. So you've actually challenged the Grey Prince. Do you really know what you've gotten yourself into? Yep. Agranag Gromalog is the best fighter ever to step into an arena. He can't be beaten, not by you. But if you want to fight him, that's your right. Well, jeez, why didn't you well, marry you know him? the drill. You let me know when you're ready for a match, and Agranak will head up to the arena and prepare for your arrival. I'm ready, damn it! Just make sure you understand our rules of competition for this match. Fighting the Grand Champion, well... The rules are a bit different. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. I think you can actually loot the guy. Well, okay, tell me about the rules of competition. Okay, listen up. There are no disqualifications in a Grand Champion match. That means you can wear whatever armor you damn well please. Agranak will be wearing his raiment of valor, and he's probably got it heavily enchanted. So feel free to do the same to any armor you have. Now, as you know, in any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen opponent. Well, this ain't any standard match. No sorry, Bob. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. Strip a dead man butt naked? Sure. I'll do it. So you're ready to fight the Grey Prince, are you? Well, you can't go out there without a name. You know, an arena name. Something catchy. Something the people of Cyrodiil will remember when they tell stories about your inglorious defeat. So what's it gonna be? Captain Caveman. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of names here. The Spell Slinger, the Butcher, Shadow Step, the Black Arrow, Skull Crusher. I remember that from, uh... I think it was the Helgen Reborn quest mod for Skyrim. The Divine Avenger, the Messenger of Death, the Crimson Blade, Man, Warsaw Slaughter, the Tamriel Terror, and Dragonheart. We are so being called the Tamriel Terror, because that's terrible. The Tamriel Terror, huh? I like it. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right, it's time to see if you're crazy good or just plain crazy. Why not both? The Grey Prince is headed up to the arena as we speak. Go up there and meet him, one champion to the next. May the Divines have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. I don't well, need no friggin' mercy, darling. For? I'm the Get. main character, and I'm a complete badass. Right, let's go kick the crap out of the Grey Prince and get our reward. Don't really remember how good the reward is. I know you get some kind of custom armor. I think it looks like the raiment, but slightly different. Maybe different colors or something, but uh, yeah, screw it. Let's go murder the guy. But first, let's say that just in case. Shouldn't have a problem, but we'll see. But yeah, I won't spoil it for you why this shouldn't be too, too tough, but uh, I'll explain it after, because it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated, kind of. Good people of Cyrodiil, welcome to the Imperial City Arena. Believe it or not, someone has actually challenged the unbeatable Arena Grand Champion. But who, you might ask, could possibly be brave enough to face such a fearless foe? Who could wrest the title from our famed Grey Prince? I wonder. Good people, I give you the blue team's latest champion, a warrior of skill, strength, and determination. It's all true. Behold the Tamriel Terror! Yeah! <laughs> 
Worst name Lords ever. Lords and ladies, citizens of the Empire, I give you the Battle of the Ages. Combatants, steal yourselves. Lower the gates. Let's get on. Right, let's go kick this guy's ass. Now I do. Oh, jeez. Please, just kill me. Can't you see? It's what I want. I can't live like this, knowing I'm something filthy, something evil. Kill me. Yeah, so because we did his quest and he's now depressed about his existence, he just wants Please. to die. I've never actually done this properly, well not properly, but I've never done it before without actually doing the quest, so I don't know how tough he actually is, but uh, he did. You have just witnessed the impossible! Agronac Gro Malad has been defeated! I say again, the Grey Prince has been defeated! Behold, the new hero of the people of Cyrodiil! Behold, your arena grand champion, the Tamriel Terror! Esteemed grand champion, you may leave the arena now. See the Blade Master to receive your winnings and be awarded your raiment of valor. Sweet. Right, stripped Ork McGee here butt naked. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't have to hand over this raiment. You can just run off and use it yourself. But uh, if you want the reward, you have to. And the reward is like a custom raiment. I don't remember how good it is. It may not even be as good as his, but uh, it probably is. But anyway, let's go talk to you. By the love of Shinji, you did it! You beat the Grey Prince! This... this is unbelievable! That makes you the best fighter the arena has ever seen! I know! You've got Agronax Raiment of Valor! Good! Give it to me! All right, now I give you your own! By Shinji, I... I'm shaking! This is amazing! Okay, calm down for Christ's sake. Okay, sakes. do. Do you want a heavy raiment of valor or a light raiment of valor? Did you just Your call choice. me dude? Okay, so uh, let's go with the light. Right. Okay. It is with great honor that I present to you this gold and the esteemed raiment of valor and name you the new arena grand champion. Badass. You've done it. The Grey Prince was a great orc, rest his soul and all that. But you beat him. <laughs> Now go. Take some time to rest. When you're feeling up to it, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your future. Yeah, I'm guessing she's talking about the random monsters you can fight. Who the hell are you and why are you half naked? I don't know what's up with that. I don't think there's anything else we can talk to the other guy about. Anyways, check out this raiment. It seems kind of crappy. I could have sworn it was better than that. Do we... That seems to be the raiment. Well, alright then. It's also ugly. It looks exact. I could have sworn it looked different. Right, well, anyway, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna reload it very quickly, kill the Grey Fox again. Grey Fox? What the hell am I talking about? The Grey Prince again. Then we're gonna check out the Heavy Raiment, and we'll compare the stats and abilities, see, see what the difference is, and we'll decide which one we want to keep. We'll probably keep the light one, but we'll see. What are you waiting for? Okay, so check out the Heavy Raiment. Maybe that's what looks different. Maybe the light one looks. Wait, what? Oh. That's what we were wearing in the arena. Well, shit. Okay, so yeah, the heavy one is actually not that bad, considering we're bad with heavy armor. That's pretty good defense. I don't know if the abilities, the uh, enchantments, whatever the hell you want to call it on it, is the same as the light one, so... Yeah, it does look different. So I'm an idiot, so I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna kill the uh, Great Prince again, and then we'll check out the actual light one, because apparently I was just looking at the regular arena raiment last time. God damn it. Do it. Do it. Yeah! Okay, this time, let's look at the actual light raiments. Where the hell is it? Oh, there you are. Yeah, it seems to have the exact same enchantments, and it's got a little tiny bit more defense. See, they do actually look different. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Honestly, maybe the heavy one by a little tiny bit, but uh, both of them look kind of cool, besides the fact that you can see my dude's underwear. That's a little disturbing to me. And we'll go with... Yeah, I don't really like the cape. We'll, we'll keep the eye patch on, but uh, we'll use the hoodie, because the shrouded hood looks... Really weird on most things besides the actual shrouded armor, so we'll roll with this for now. We probably won't use it for that long, but you know, it's a pretty cool reward. It's unique and everything else. Plus, you get a whole bunch of money from the arena, and <laughs> there's actually another reward, kind of. Some people consider it more of a curse, but, uh, you know, I'll show that in a second, but, yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, 
Give me a moment and I'm going to save it and repair our gear and everything else. Okay, the mage is with us. Let's go. I do Machine believe the other... Grand what? Champion, you may leave the arena now. Okay. That's kind of strange. Anyway, I do believe the other, you know, quote, reward is outside, so... You know what, we don't look that bad, but still, it looks weird to me that we can see our underwear. But yeah, I do believe the other reward is out here, if I remember correctly. Longest load screen of all time. Holy shit. There we go. Okay, hey, there. <laughs> there we are. Wow, you're the Grand Champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. See, as you can probably tell, this is the infamous adoring fan. Follow your esteemed Grand Champion. Golly, you're the best! I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go! Let's go! And yeah, he's a little weirdo stalker. It's kinda cool. Yes! Oh, great and mighty Grand Champion! Is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Okay, first of all, no friggin' back rub, but you can shine my boots. Wait here, yes. Right here. Here? Right here? What about, say, over there? No? Right here? All right then. You're the Grand Champion. Whatever you say. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's a little freak, but yes. uh, you know, we'll oh, take him with us for now. I don't God. remember if he does anything. I'm sure you can use him to store items, but I didn't see the option there. Maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe he literally just follows you and that's it. But we'll take him with us for now. <laughs> I've got everything. That's a good description there. But uh, we'll take him with us for now. Just for the hell of it, he's not going to be a permanent fixture though, because, uh, yeah, he kind of sucks, and he's a freak. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time, we'll go back to the Dark Brotherhood, and then when we finish up with that, we'll move on to some modded stuff, finally. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. I'll like, and I will see you next time for more Oblivion.